Good morning, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Steve, and today I'm doing a walk around video presentation for you of this 2016 Holden Colorado Z71 that you can see behind me in black. It is an MY17. Part of this video today I'm going to do for you will show you the full condition of the vehicle inside and out, give you a really good look over the car, not just at photos, uh, as part of what you can see while I'm looking at it. So I'm gonna turn the video around for you now so we can see. Let me flip there. Now you'll see at the front, nice big chrome badging. The good thing with the Holdens is they do run their 2.8 litre turbo diesel engine. So really, really good. Little four cylinder. Still producing a very impressive 147 kilowatts of power and 500 newton meters of torque. So really good for pulling power out of these ones. Uh, so if you wanted to add a tow bar to this vehicle, it's gonna give you the ability to tow three and a half ton on there. Now you can see we do have our genuine black Holden bull bar on the front here too. It does have the color coded sensors integrated into the front of it. You'll see down there, just under the fog light and our indicators and everything there. Genuine Holden Colorado smoked bonnet protector there. You'll see our Z71 4x4 badge on the front. Now there is a little bit of fading in the decal on the bonnet. The paintwork, however, looks in really good condition. And considering it's a black car, they show up marks very easy. Looking at the bonnet, it is in very good condition. So as we come around now to the side of the vehicle, you'll see looking really, really good. No big marks or anything that I can see on the guard. Uh, looking down at our alloy wheel, nicely styled, accompanied with some Falcon Wild Peak AT tires. And I will tell you right this minute, that the Wild Peaks, I would have to say, are one of the um, most popular tyres at the moment, uh, as far as the all-terrains, really giving the BFGs a good run for their money as far as reliability, durability, and less road noise as well. So really good tyres there. Having a look, we do have our colour-coded mirror there with the indicator integrated, black door handles as well. And overall, as I said, you've got a couple of light scratches around the door handle from people getting in and out. But there's no big marks there. We do have on the top our nicely styled roof rails there. Very nice. And then I open up the doors and go through as we move. Now with the Holdens, when you open the door on these ones, they do pop the window down. And then once you close the door, they'll go up afterwards. So you're not having to slam the door. You're not getting the air pocket that tends to hold some doors open, which is really clever design. Having a look, genuine carpet formats in there too. Really nice to see, in good condition. Looking at the leather seat on the passenger side now as well. Really good. We do have our Z71 4x4 embroidered into the headrest on both passenger and driver's seat. And then you can see through the center console a little bit as well. Having a good look. Very well presented. The dash is in very good condition as well. No marks or anything, even the uh, front here nothing there which is really nice to see as i said nice and easy to close and then the window goes up on its own opening up the back door now for you too so having a look once again full leather seats through the back in good condition very well looked after we do have the genuine carpet mat that runs the whole way across the back there for you Really nice, even the backs of the passenger seat and the driver's seat in good condition from what I can see. Right, coming out further, now we start getting to the rear of the vehicle. Uh, once again, looking at our rear tyre and alloy rim, really good condition alloy rim. Looking at these tyres, as you can see, quite a good pattern on the all-terrains. Still got plenty of tread there. Really good as a daily drive wear and tear uh, tyre but also going to give you plenty of traction in those off-road modes that you want to use this for. Now we do have a few light marks on the back of the tub there some have been touched up a couple down lower there they are hard to see and as we come around you'll see just a couple of little marks on the rear bar and then having a look at the rear of the vehicle we do have our reverse camera hidden away nicely in the handle there. We do have down in the rear bar, our color coded reverse sensors on both sides. Now no tow bar on this one, 
so you know it hasn't been pulling a, a horse float or a big work trailer around the whole time. And then we do have our soft tonneau cover, which has a hard frame. So if I reach under here, you'll see just flicks up and locks in place on the back on both sides. And you just got a little handle here to flick the spring locks. So it stops just people being able to lift that up. Uh, looking in at the tub, it has been used. Uh, there are scratches inside the tub, as you would expect. But overall, good condition. And nice and easy to close up there. It does have a lock in the tailgate, so stopping people once again from being able to just lift that up, making it a little bit harder to get into the back of the vehicle for you. Our nice Z71 badge there. We do have the nice tail lights on the back here as well. Nice and easy to see for you. And then coming around to the driver's side, once again looking at the condition of the paintwork, the driver's side does have some light marks in it, just as all black cars do, but nothing major at all. We do have a very nicely styled uh, roof, or they would call them a sports bar, I guess, at the back here. Our high mount stoplight underneath there, and very nicely designed to go at the back of the cab there give it a sporty look once again good looking alloy wheel on rear right hand side good tires there and then opening up the back just for you to be able to look through from the driver's side on the rear really good condition there we do have nice big side steps making it easier for shorter people like myself to be able to get into the vehicle for you. Now the driver's seat is electric adjustment. So we do have not only our backwards and forwards, but we do have a height adjustment there for the seat. And then our little knot tile is for the back. So you can nice and easily lower the seat and raise it for you. Having a look through for you. You can see a nice big screen where our reverse camera is coming down. We do have our lane departure warning, downhill assist controls, the hazard lights, all nice little toggle switches there. Heated seat switches down further as well, which is really nice. And then all our steering controls for our Bluetooth and our cruise control and our forward collision mitigation as well on the uh, right hand side here. So quite nice, we set up. Down on the side here, we've got our headlight controls. We do have the adjustment for our headlights. So if you are loading the back of the car up, you can adjust the headlights back down towards the road and then the dash adjustment there. All right, we'll continue back around to the front of the car. Just having a little bit of water on the vehicle there. So as you can see, overall, really nicely styled car. The Z71s, they've got a few of the extra features there, and then a nice bull bar just to top it off on the front with our high mount uh, aerial for our radio. So that's our walk around video for you today of this 2016 MY17 Z71 Holden Colorado. Uh, as I said, if you've got any more questions about the vehicle, uh, please feel free to give us a call here at Berwick Mitsubishi, and one of our team members will be able to assist you further. And I'd just like to say thanks again for watching the video and I hope it's been informative for you.